Welcome to Instablog's Global Report. This is Sukhmani with fresh updates and more citizen voices from all over the world. Stories for the day are United States to compensate Filipino war veterans India bans smoking in public places Zambian media accuses acting president Rupia Banda of bribery and World Bank report rates Brazil lower than its Latin American counterparts in child education. The US House of Representatives has passed an act to compensate Filipino veterans that fought alongside the American forces during World War II. The Filipino war veterans have long accused the United States of denying them same rights as their American comrades who fought the Japanese. CJ Rosen Loren Lim believes that the U.S. government must recognize the services offered by the Filipino war veterans during World War II. This is the fan, citizen journalist for Instablog Philippines. This is a huge victory for Filipino war veterans who have been fighting for their rights and seed privileges for decades. Many of them not in active service were not recognized by U.S. government as entitled to the same rights and benefits as the U.S. veterans. Monetary compensation is a huge risk part for the veterans, but sadly, it comes without any recognition for the services offered during the war. When will the U.S. understand that the issue compensating war veterans goes beyond monetary benefits? They are seeking recognition from the U.S. government for having fought like a valiant soldier alongside their U.S. counterpart during the World War II. It should not be that difficult for the U.S. government to deliver what is rightfully due to the aging veterans. With the veterans getting older and dying one by one, the U.S. must fulfill its obligation towards them while they're still alive. India banned smoking in public places in an attempt to fight tobacco use, blamed directly or indirectly, for a fifth of all the deaths in the world's third largest consumer. The ban includes all offices and restaurants and will hit an estimated 240 million tobacco users. CJ Radhika expresses a reservation about practical implementation of this measure. This is Radhika, a citizen journalist reporting from India. The decision to ban smoking in public places, including offices and restaurants, is a healthy initiative, but can the government actually get it enforced? In reality, it's about compliance, which does not seem to be coming forthwith. Tobacco firms have already raised their voice against the government, citing the ban is an infringement of individual rights. Those addicted to smoking are ready with a fresh package of reasons elaborating on the why not of smoking in public places. More so will the poor illiterate migrant population, which crams every nook and corner of the Indian cities, be willing to give up habit of frequently and openly puffing in public places. Already Bihar has expressed its reservations regarding the practicalities of such a move. Past attempts to ban spitting and urinating in public places have met little success. Courtesy our blatant disregard towards basic cleanliness and common good. Either the government should enforce the ban strictly or else provide smoking rooms because smokers will continue to smoke no matter what. Zambia's acting president Rupia Banda has said media allegations that he bribed opposition party officials to endorse his presidential candidature in the October 30th elections were mere politics. He commended the law enforcement agencies championing the anti-corruption crusade and pledged to strengthen the institutions if elected as head of the state. CJ Brenda Zulu, dejected by the allegations, warns the country's political leaders to continue the legacy of late president Mr. Mwane Wasa. This is Brenda Zulu, citizen journalist reporting from Zambia for Instablogs. Thanks to late Mr. Monawasa's anti-corruption drive, Zambia has improved substantially in the Transparency International's Corruption Index. The bribery allegation against Mr. Rupia Banda, presidential hopeful in the upcoming election, goes on to prove that it won't be easy to fill in the shoes of the late president. Such news is disappointing for an ordinary Zambian that has yet to overcome the grief of losing a great leader. It was latter's sweeping and corruption drive that has rebuilt the confidence of Zambians in state institutions. Mr. Band and other running presidential candidates must realize that this is the time to renew their commitment to fight corruption rather than scumbing to allegations of sleaze and fraud. Zambians had a long stint with corrupt polity that has left the country socially, politically, economically in shambles. 
A research led by the World Bank has rated Brazil lower than several other Latin American countries in terms of children's educational opportunities. The study also concluded that the prospects of education was bleak amongst the black children. CJ Celso wants the international authorities to promote the cause of education in Latin America. This is Celso, citizen journalist reporting from Brazil for Instablogs. Brazil was rated below Latin America's average in terms of children's educational opportunities in a research led by the World Bank. However, the country is said to have had obvious improvement from 1995 to 2005, the period covered by the study. Most of the children who lacked educational opportunities were black, children living in the northern and northeastern parts of the country. By contrast, 44% of the children with the most opportunities were born in richest areas of the country, such as São Paulo and Brasilia, the capital city. Children in Chile, Argentina, Costa Rica, Venezuela and Uruguay possess the most equal opportunities, while those in Nicaragua, Guatemala and Honduras enjoy the least. Regional as well as the international authorities must come together to promote the educational opportunities, initiating dialogues on best practices between countries that are facing similar crises is an important step for reciprocal benefit. If you want your voice to be heard by millions, let Instablogs be your choice. You can contact us at cj at instablogs.com. That's all for today's show. We'll be back with fresh updates and more citizen voices. Till then, it's goodbye from the entire team of Global Report.